On some point-and-shoot cameras, as well as some digital SLRs and mirrorless cameras, uh, you get a screen that folds out. Uh, sometimes the screen is built into the camera, sometimes it folds out and it will tilt high or low so you can hold the camera above your head or lower and tilt the screen to be able to take the photo without having to get to that height or you know, getting down on your knees, uh, you're able to tilt the screen. Some cameras also have it where it flips out and then tilts as well. If you do have one of the screens that flips out, uh, you can also flip it around to where you put it up against the camera and it's the metal side, not the screen side. And this can be helpful if you're traveling and you don't want something to hit it and break the glass. You simply flip it around when you're taking photos. Now, some people really like the screen that flips out and uh, some people who do vlogging, that's where they hold the camera out and they're uh, videoing themselves. They like to be able to flip the screen up to be able to see themselves on the screen uh, when they're shooting. Also might be helpful if you wanna do selfies with your digital camera. So you can see whether having a screen that's built into the camera or one that can flip out or tilt up or down uh, is important to you. With newer digital cameras, there are also some that have a touch screen where you simply touch the screen uh, to bring up the setting or adjust the setting. So you may want to see whether the camera that you're buying has a touch screen. Usually the touch screen is on cameras that cost a little bit more. Uh, so it's a feature you may have to pay a little bit more for, uh, but it's something you may want to consider. Do you want a tilting screen and do you want a touch screen? We hope you've enjoyed these photography tips. If you'd like help getting started with your digital camera, you may want to check out our Top 10 Digital Camera Settings Worksheet. Looking at your digital camera, there are lots of buttons and symbols and settings of which can be confusing. Our Top 10 Digital Camera Settings Worksheet will help you learn where these settings are on your camera and the buttons and dials you must use to set them. This worksheet is a great way to get started learning your digital camera. Being able to look at your digital camera and know what the different settings are and how to set them is a great feeling. Knowledge is always your best camera accessory. Download the Top 10 Digital Camera Settings Worksheet at easyphotoclass.com to start learning your digital camera settings today. To go to our website, click on our logo at the top of the page for great photography downloads and workshops. To subscribe to our channel, click on our logo in the lower left to enjoy more great photography videos. You can also click on the video image in the lower right to enjoy our next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you soon.